when you walk in there, you realize that it's just completely mind-blowing. The whole world will be looking at this project. After three years of construction, heavy activity on the site, finally we are able to go live. ST Microelectronics is one of the first semiconductor companies uh, with a huge ambition to reach carbon neutral by 2027. For ST Microelectronics, you then start thinking about what kind of solutions do I bring into my facility, to my operations, that can be a huge needle mover. We have actually five different buildings. Each building has its own cooling tower on the rooftop. And the efficiency of the conversion obviously is not at the level that expected in today's standard. So it's really timely to build a centralized facility next door in order to supply all the five different buildings. SP approached us to utilize our building to develop this district cooling plant because our building is just beside SD's. In this plant, we provide the 4,000 ton chiller. A lot of R&D has been put into building this chiller more efficient than anybody else in the market. It's a 36,000 refrigerant ton plant and to give some perspective to that, that's about half the size of the world's largest underground district cooling network in Marina Bay. That we've been operating for about 20 years now with zero disruption. The first year we are dismantling existing buildings. Then the second year we are building a new plant. The third year we are installing the building services, the chillers, the cooling towers, the pumps. First of all, we're dealing with a live plant, semiconductor industry. So these industries tend to be very particular about disruptions to their production. The lithography process imprint the pattern on the wafers. So causing the wafer to vibrate will offset the pattern. With a wrong pattern, the product you will be impacted. So vibration control is critical to the manufacturing process. As you can see, this is a cooling tower. So we have three set of pipes. First, the purple color line is actually a new water line, which make up water into a cooling tower. Then we have a darker green condenser water return, which taking up the heat from the chiller, pass through the cooling tower and heat reject. After the water is cold, the water flow into the lighter green condenser water supply pipe and flowing back to the chillers. This tool is a LT chiller producing 5 degrees C temperature. These are the MT chiller, which can produce 12 degrees C temperature. And behind here is our string chiller supplying 5 or 12 degrees C temperature water. SP Group, they have performed brilliantly with safety in mind and then also there's no interruption during the course of the past few years. Seeing the efficiency as per design is really rewarding. The detailed planning, the engineering expertise has been validated on the very day when the supply was turned on. We are very excited to see the plant in full operation. This DCS project is also part of the plan to meet Singapore MEES requirement. It started off being a contractual agreement, but it has evolved and manifested into a wonderful partnership with SD Microelectronics. To build upon this success story of a DCS system, I think there will be more collaboration between SP Group and ST moving forward in the space of sustainability.